Over the last few years, it seems like there had been quite the trend over who could make the bigger case. You've got the 800D, you've got the 900D behind me, you've got the Switch 810 and then the 820, and then you've got you know, the half stacker. You've got a lot of ginormous cases out there on the market. So if you're one of those people who find yourself looking for a small case, even smaller than micro ATX, you've got an ITX format right here from Fractal Design, and this is the Node 304. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the 304. We're gonna throw a few components in there and see what we've got in the inside. Now the model they sent me is the white edition, which I am a huge fan of white cases. If, if you follow me long enough, you know I used to have a Switch 810 in white. I now have a 900D in black, but I really like white cases. Contrary to popular belief, some people think that they get dirty faster. Um, if you ask me, they hide the dust a lot better than black. I mean, dust is generally gray in color, so. Uh, but anyway, in the packaging here, as you can see, we've got it's very nice and sealed plastic package. You've got a uh, hardware manual here. It is available in black and white. But look at this thing. This is just, this is hot looking. I really like this. Taking a look at the front of the case here, uh, you've got a nice smooth finish. Uh, it's all uh, powder coated white and it's nice and glossy. You have on the side here where your graphics card goes, you do have a vent. Um, this one here, unfortunately, is, there we go. Popped out a little bit in transportation, but as you can see, it popped right back in. On the back, you've got a single 140 millimeter exhaust fan, and you do have your PCI Express expansion slots here that can accommodate a dual slot card. And on the other side here, you just have a nice um, vent here to allow more airflow. And then for the fans on the front, you have a vent right here on the top. On the side here, you have your uh, USB 3.0, your power switch, and you have your headphone and microphone jack. And then your LED is right here next to the fractal design emblem on the front. Now the case comes apart with four thumb screws and it comes apart all in one piece. They're not individual sides, it's more or less a shell. So as you can see here, it comes off as one shell. Set that aside. And you can see you have nice, easy access to all sides of the case. Now the front of the case literally just pulls right off, which gives you access, easy access here to the uh, 92 millimeter um, fan filters there. But what I think is really cool is the way that the hard drives mount in this thing. So because you're dealing with, uh, as you know, very tight spaces, um, the hard drive, actually the hard drives mount on top of everything and just suspend down into the case. So the pieces pop out, they are steel, and they can accommodate either two three and a half inch drives or two uh, SSD or two and a half inch drives for each base. You could theoretically have two, four, six hard drives uh, in this case. Now, other than that, there's not really a whole lot to say about it. I mean, all of the fan cables are sleeved, and if you are not, uh, if you don't need to have all of these hard drive cages in here, you could theoretically remove all but the ones that you need and have even more airflow. And if you wanted to go full water cooling loop in this, you could do that. And removing these would give you even more space and support on the inside for installing such uh, uh, components. Now in true fractal design form, you do have all black sleeved cable. And because the power supply in this mounts sideways, um, they give you a power supply extension cable that is included here. It's all twisted up with the rest of the cables there. 
So this plugs into the back of your power supply and then it's an extension that goes onto the back of the case here so that you can plug in power. Uh, the case is very sturdy. In fact, it's pretty much the way it's put together is just front, top, and, and bottom, and it's all riveted together. And because the cover here is all one piece, when you screw that in, it gives it even more rigidity. But I really like the form factor of this case. In fact, so much that I'm gonna be putting my Z87i uh, gaming motherboard, which is an ITX motherboard, in this case here and doing a build in this here in the near future. So make sure you check out that on my channel. So if you're looking for a really unique, really small but fun format here for a mini ITX build, definitely check out the Fractal Node uh, 304. It's a very solid case. In fact, I'm very impressed with the build quality of, of this and I can't wait to do a build in this. I've wanted to do a mini ITX build for a long time and this is gonna be the perfect case for that. I can't wait to get started on that. So guys, it's been Jay's Two Cents. What do you think of this case? Do you think that this is a unique design? How do you like the way the hard drives uh, mount on this? And give me your thoughts. As always, if you've liked this video, you know what to do. Either give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Share it with your friends if you think this may fit something that they're looking for. And as always, I will see you guys next time on Jay's Two Cents.